Has Zeph talked about the Square Enix company rework? No, I haven't talked about that. But I did hear about it. Um, a friend of mine sent it to me a couple days ago. Yeah, let me, let's pull it up here. Oh yeah, Square Enix confirms US Europe layoffs as part of the restructuring effort. Publishing, IT and Square Enix Collective, indie labels. Yeah, so basically they're gonna be doing a bunch of layoffs and restructuring. And it seems like there's a lot of changes that are happening in the company. Square Enix said it plans to rebuild overseas business divisions from the ground up and has begun optimizing costs at its European and American offices via structural reforms. The new boss, Kiryu, has been enacting a large-scale reorganization of Square Enix's development efforts in an effort to reverse recent disappointing sales of its biggest games. This might... Okay, layoffs are never good, really. But overall, I think that the effort to restructure and reorganize at Square Enix might end up being a good thing in the long run. Because the, the company really needs change. The company needs big changes. And uh, like whatever they were doing before, they need to reconsider what they were doing. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was a lot of like... Uh, like fat trimming that needs to happen based on how poorly the company has been run so far. <laughs> because like, look, Final Fantasy XIV is a, it is an amazing product. It is kind of like a, a miracle that it happened at Square Enix. <laughs> like I, I often wonder how this, well, there's only one reason that it happened is because of Yoshi P. But it sometimes feels like this walled garden where by some miracle, which was Yoshi P's insane talent at organization, he managed to make this game work. But the company itself has killed so many live service games and uh, it has been run quite badly in general. Look, it has not been very impressive. So maybe it's good that they're going to um, restructure and reorganize. Uh, it's, it's always a shame that layoffs happen, um, but I, I can only say that I hope that they will find something that works in the long run, really. Yeah, maybe put money back at the MMO, right? <laughs> Instead of using the cash shop as a sponge for their other games. That's what I would like to see, absolutely. Yes. It sucks for the people who got fired, but Square Enix have been watching a bunch of games that haven't done well. Yes. I assume they want to focus on things that are doing well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. It sounds like they might have had a wake-up call after, um... Yeah, and no more console exclusives is also something. Yeah, this is actually a really important thing right here. Square Enix said that going forward, it will aggressively pursue a multi-platform strategy. That includes Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So they finally re realized the most obvious thing in the world is that the exclusivity contract doesn't help anybody but people who are trying to sell hardware. So this was, you know, something literally anyone could have told you, but it sucks that every time... I feel like the, the most frustrating thing about Square Enix is that they always wait for things to get bad before they make the decision that is really f***ing obvious. Like, they always wait for things to go horribly before they're like, Oh man, that thing everybody was saying we should or shouldn't do was actually the thing that we should or shouldn't do. And it's, it happened, like, this actually happened with FF14. Like, the, you know, you realize <laughs> before Yoshi P stepped in, they almost killed a Final Fantasy franchise with Final Fantasy 14 1.0. It was that bad. Why? Why? Why, Square Enix? Why can't you just do what's obvious instead of waiting for the profits to be down 70%? Okay, for the live services to be killed 
for the projects to be canceled before you realize that what everybody has already been trying to tell you. But at least it seems like there's hope. I feel like there is hope on the horizon for the company. They're starting to speak it, you know, sing a different tune. They're not doing this exclusivity anymore. So I think things are going to be better. And I think this new CEO, he does think differently. The new CEO seems to take his new position actually seriously. And I have had good vibes from him. This is... The problem, actually, we, we talk about this literally every time he's on stage for an event, like FanFest or something. Every time that CEO, the new CEO is on stage, he is super charismatic and likable person. And it's very difficult for all of us because we know that he has been supporting NFTs in the past. So every time we're like very conflicted. <laughs> He's like, he's a, he's at every FF14 event. He's always super enthusiastic about the game and like being really chill. And he's like so cool and funny. Yeah. And every time we're like, no, dude. No. <laughs> he is very likable, but we have to stay cautious. Cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not the one in the kappa suit. Speaking of the kappa suit, we can get that today. Now, about those NFTs. Are they doing that? Still? What's the deal with the NFTs? Are they still going to be pursuing all that? Shit? What's going on with that? I haven't heard anything about it in a while. Uh, are you still trapped? Are we talking about Sunday again? Are we talking about Sunday? Yes, we can. <laughs> we can talk about Sunday all day, every day, if you want. <laughs> but don't get me started. Do not. It's died. The, <laughs> the NFTs have silently went away. You know, it was a weird phase. It was a weird phase. I remember there was a time when we were so hysterical and worried about it that I remember one time we were like, oh my God, okay, but what if they start releasing NFT stuff on the Mog Station? And like, like what if the mount is really an NFT and you won't really own the mount, but it's really an NFT of a mount. And then <laughs> like, what if, it's we could then like sell the same mount to another player and then they sell it to another player and that way that way Spurities will get money every time someone sells the mount in FD instead of <laughs> instead of we buy at one time. I remember there was a there was a period of time there where we were so fing worried. We went off the rails. Anyway. NFT for housing. Yes. <laughs> Maybe they added NFTs to the Monk Station already, but they make the UI so bad, nobody knows. It. What I said is they can't put NFTs in FF14 because of the spaghetti code. Like, if you put an NFT in FF14, it's going to destroy the entire blockchain. I don't know how. But it's basically going to be like a domino effect where it's like <laughs> destroys every everything along the entire way. Yeah, this is how we're going to destroy crypto and NFTs completely. NFTs are completely irrelevant now. <laughs> it does seem that way. That was a wild time.